G'day! In today's video, I've got a Razor Blade Stealth 13. We're getting an SSD upgrade. This particular one is a OLED edition, 60 hertz. And the hard drive on it's a little bit too small. It's got a 500 gig hard drive, which is not large enough for all the games that I want to actually install on here. So to begin with, I'm going to use a T4 screwdriver and be taking out just the various screws and I'll let you know what sizings I've got. So the reason why this one is white was I purchased it second hand off eBay around about 1500 Australian dollars. It's running an i7 11th gen quad core. Can't remember the exact model number. 1165G7, something like that. It's also got 16 gig of RAM. It has got a GTX 1650 Ti Max Q and a 500 gig hard drive, which I will be upgrading it to a WD Blue One Terabyte. So far, all these screws that I've been taking out have been the same. So no concern about screws so far. Should be hopefully two more screws, and hopefully this bottom will just simply come off. There we go, and now which way are we gonna go? Slide back? No. Lift up? Yes. There we go. And we are now in. So as we can see, we have a considerable amount of cooling here for this these chips, considerably more than I was actually anticipating. Yeah. So what I'm wanting to upgrade here is the SSD that's over here, which I'm not actually sure which brand that particular one is. I think I am seeing Samsung on here. Samsung service, pull off before operation. Good hint. So whoa. Right at the start here, let's disconnect that battery. I'll zoom you guys in. So I will delicately, delicately use a pair of tweezers here. That disconnected, I'll go over to the hard drive over here. And what you typically have to do from here is either refresh and install the windows, or you'd be cloning the hard drive. So myself, I would be cloning from the old drive to the new drive externally. So if it's sitting up like this, you should just be able to rock it backwards. That comes out like a 45 degree angle. So if we grab our new drive, which I've got a WD Blue SN 550. I'm going to put that in on a 45 degree angle, put it down, put the screw back in. So in we go. That's in. Push down. Probably going a little bit further. There we go. All the pins are completely hidden. And it lines up perfectly fine down this end over here. So then from there, put one screw in. There we go. And what else we need to do from there is not much, probably reconnect that battery. While we're here, we will also have a look and see what kind of wireless card we've got in here. We have a Intel AX201 NGW, which I believe is a Wi-Fi 6 card. So that one won't be needing upgrade or won't be needing upgrading for a little while. Battery wise, we have a 53 watt hour battery. So that's not bad. And there's really not much else I can really change in here. The fans are a decent size. Fans don't need cleaning. So I just need to reconnect the battery and put it back together. So line the battery up and then push from left to right. One battery connected. And then from there, we put the bottom cover back on. If you have a look here, we do have a thermal pad on the inside of the cover. 
along here. Next up, put the cover back on. There we go. Just pushing around. It doesn't really clip into position. And as I say, that clips into position. Dog hair. Click. There we go. And then just use the T4 screwdriver. Just go around it once more. And from there, you should be pretty right. So what I'm going to use now is an external NVMe enclosure where I'll be cloning from the old hard drive that I've now just removed to the new hard drive. If you don't have that option, the next thing you'll be doing would be downloading and or hopefully pre-creating a Windows 10 media creation or Windows 11 media creation tool. And you'll be able to put that under a USB to do a complete fresh reinstall Windows. Afterwards, which you will need to install your drivers. So for this one, you'll be going to the Razer website, Razer Blade, and look up your model of Razer Blade Stealth. This is the 2021 model. And from there, you should be able to get your machine fully going once more with a complete clean install of Windows. Hope this helps you, and I'll now see you guys later. I'll catch you guys in another video, and have a good one. Bye.